Everybody, Chris the Up North Ear Gunner. So today, real quick, I really wanted to put out this video to give you guys the heads up that the FX True Ballistics Chronograph is on sale for $100 off from any FX dealer. So you can get these at Utah Air Guns or any FX dealer right now. That $100 off is, it, it just makes this thing, I mean, this right here is just a must have in your toolkit anyway, but at $100 off, it makes it a really great value. Um, I, <laughs> this year, I set out to basically try to do a lot. And that was to try to take a deer with both aero-based technologies and air gun technologies. And I was able to succeed at both, at both of those goals. It was a huge challenge. It was a pretty much a three-month long grind. But the very first deer I was able to drop this year was with my uh, Raymond RX-10 crossbow, paired with the Hyper 7 uh, Element Optics um, digital scope. And in order to get all this set up, um, with that digital scope, it, I needed to have a lot of data input into it in order to get the live BDC reticle to work properly, but without knowing the velocity, without knowing the ballistic coefficient of an arrow, I was basically just in the dark. And so I was able to quickly gather that data really fast with this, and I was able to get a zero and out to 55 yards in two shots. And so basically being able to zero that quick and be able to verify my dope out to 55 yards in two shots, that's really important. One, if you've been shooting some really high power stuff, like the high power arrow slingers, either in crossbows or with air guns, you know that you put a lot of wear and tear on your arrows just trying to get your zero, just trying to get your dope. And these things are not cheap. I mean, most of these arrows sometimes are like a hundred bucks for a you know pack of six. Or even the lighted knocks, I think they're like $100 for a pack of three. So the least amount of wear and tear that you want to put on your equipment just to find that data to get out into the woods and hunt is super important. So I was able to do that this year with the FX Triple Six Chronograph. So uh, definitely stay tuned for that full video uh, on that deer hunt because that's going to be coming here pretty soon. And it was pretty much the shot of my life. With that said, uh, if you missed my previous uh, review on the Pocket um, FX uh, version 2, I did do a quick overview on the uh, FX True Ballistics uh, Chronograph. Let's check it out. Um, when this first came out, this is the FX Chronograph, the True Ballistic Chronograph. I tell you what, I have used this thing so much. I literally take this to the range with me every single time I go out and I'm, I'm seeing new things. I'm actually learning much more about our own sport just by using this. I'm actually, it's kind of debunking some previously held thoughts or ideas or data that I thought was true. And a lot of it has to do with the ability to read ballistic coefficient on the fly with whatever projectile you're shooting. And a lot of times, you know, I'll go off whatever the manufacturer says the BC was and whatever, you know, rig they were you're testing in. They've got that state and BC number in the air gun sector and things will be off in my dope. Things will be off. And then I start playing with scope height or velocity or, you know, I start changing all those parameters so as I'm chewing up my dope in my ballistic app, I'm basically just keeping that BC number because I had no way of knowing other than what the manufacturer said it was. Well, now I don't have to guess. Basically, this is picking up that ballistic coefficient shot to shot and giving you a BC average over your shot string. So doing your dope chart is it's so simple. Now you've got the information right there on that last screen to, to see what you're doing. Um, I will tell you, I also last year, or maybe about a year and a half ago, I went out with my 6.5 Creedmoor and I was testing a whole bunch of ammunition. I spent probably close to 400 bucks on just off the shelf ammo. I was going through like varmint cartridges, all the way up to 147 grade match grade ammo. And, you know, it's got the BC on the box, right? And so just go off that BC. Well, that's usually not completely accurate with whatever gun you're shooting it out of. And I burned through a lot of ammo trying to true up my dope on that thing. Um, lots of ammo got pretty expensive, quite honestly. And this, so this could have been a cost saving feature. So this really is a must have if you're really getting serious into the sport. So my vision is not as good as it used to be. You'll see that I've been wearing glasses and pot more often here recently. And I used to be able to see like the little spiral sometimes like in my pellets or my slugs and just with my eyes and my vision. Yeah, I haven't been able to pick that up as much as possible. So unless the sunlight and the reflection off the projectile is absolutely perfect, I just can't pick up that little wobble or the spiral. And with this, I actually can see it in that BC rating. All of a sudden, if you see one shot drop in BC, it's probably because there's some instability between where it's picking it up and, and hitting that target. So that BC fluctuation sometimes will tell you, hey, maybe I'm pushing this too hard. 
Maybe I need to slow it down. Maybe I just need to change the velocity up. Um, maybe I got dented, you know, skirts on my pellets, whatever. You can see that in the BC rating shot to shot, and then it actually does give you an average as you uh, shoot a shot string. So another cool thing about this is that I've been using this with my, my 177 Dreamline, and I'm only shooting out to 55 yards. And so I set those distances at 10, 20, 30, 40. And what was great about that is I was getting the true average BC off of those teeny tiny little 177 pellets. And all those BC ratings that I was getting with that 177 JSB pellet, it was spot on. I mean, I was hitting targets. I was clearing stages that were out to 55 yards. I mean, this right here is going to save you a lot of time. So this will definitely pay for itself within the first year that you're using this thing, especially if you're into uh, firearm tuning and hand reloading cartridges. This is where you're going to want to go with. Um, the accuracy of this thing, um, I have not done a head-to-head -head comparison with like the RIT Lab Radar, for example, or some of the other chronographs out there. I have done a head-to-head -head with my own Caldwell, um, and the velocity is just probably within a few percentage points of each other. It's spot-on accurate. But what I love about this, there's no need for any kind of external microphone. A lot of times with Lab Radars, we've used them in the past. Sometimes it doesn't pick up the air guns because you got to get that little external microphone and plug it in. This is so sensitive. I honestly think out of the hundreds of shots that I have shot with using this thing, it's maybe dropped two, one or two. I actually cannot remember the last time it has a dropped a shot. So I take this out with me every time I go to the range. One of the coolest tests that I did with this uh, recently is uh, with my CZ457 uh, 22 long rifle. I picked up a box of those 22 stangers, uh, like the 32 grain, but they're like over 1600 feet per second. Um, so I was able to use this and I had always wondered, and you get online and there's always this constant debate of, you know, shooting supersonic and, you know, those smaller projectiles, they're snapping right back to subsonic right away. So what's the point? And going through that transonic zone, it's going to, you know, send that slug tumbling into the atmosphere, uh, which isn't true. Um, so when I went out and did this test with those stangers, it was so cool. Muzzle velocity, I think was over 1600 feet per second. But there's a feature on this where you can actually see where that projectile is coming back subsonic. And so it was kind of cool to see that, hey, those stangers, they're staying supersonic out to 90 yards, which is absolutely awesome. And coming back subsonic right at uh, around 90 yards. So cool little piece of data. But again, with center fire, I can see where that feature would actually pretty be pretty cool to understand what the subsonic kind of snapback is on that to stay out of that transonic zone. Um, but yeah, but now you have access to all that data. So this is like having kind of like a, a new superhero, you know, superpower. So now as a uh, shooter, I can see all that data that I had to guess on, on before. And now I've got it there in true ballistics. All right. So there it is, everybody. FX true ballistics chronograph. It is a go-to must have game changer device in my toolkit. Definitely don't miss out on this deal. Thanks everybody for joining me. Merry Christmas. Take care.